something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Restorations and Repairs. I've got a cool treat to share with you. I came across this while going through some old parts for a Volkswagen that I bought. It's this. Who remembers this? J.C. Whitney Company. This is, uh, before the internet, this is where a lot of guys my age, between this and the Craftsman Tool Catalog, we spent a lot of our days and nights checking this thing out. And I, I, it's in pretty good shape. I don't know when, what year it was. I don't see any reference to the internet in it, so it probably predates that stuff there. But printed in the USA, printed by J.C. Whitney & Company. Uh, looks like, oh, 1989 would be the year, so real vintage. I'm going to get the camera closer in, and we're going to go through some of the cool stuff that you used to be able to get for your cars. People don't accessorize their cars anymore. Now everyone gets a 10-inch a uh, you know, monitor on their, in their dash, and they think that the infotainment system makes their car cool. No, man. you you got to put you got to put an emblem on your hood. you got to get some bling for the back of it, some kind of you know maybe some curb feelers maybe a fan that you can mount on the dash because most cars didn't come with ac you got to get the cool accessories and jc whitney man they had it all and sadly when i found this thing i was like holy cow jc whitney i forgot all about them i went and saw uh, to see if they still existed they don't no more print catalogs and they went out of business a few years ago so they're gone another piece of history down the tubes let me get the camera in though, and let's relive a part of that history together. And here's the cover of it. $2 for the catalog, catalog number 503F, whatever that means. Now, I don't remember ever paying for a catalog, I'll be honest with you. Maybe they just had that if you had it at a store, but I always just called them and got one. 65,000 items. It looks like you get a free toolbox with any order. Oh my gosh, I owned one of those toolboxes. I just gave it away. Holy cow, I can't believe it was a very small plastic toolbox i thought it was more of a fishing box really but now i was heavy heavy into volkswagens then as i am now and they had an entire catalog that was just for vws at one point let's go ahead mail order or phone it says let's check this thing out and see if we can find some of it now the first couple pages here are color but there wasn't a whole lot that was color 53 dollars for yeah let me get the camera all right let's take a look at this so Deflector shields for the front of our cars. My T100 had one that was purchased from that. And of course, they had tools, they had radios, they had radar detectors, and they had CB radios. Let's see, what kind of CB radio is that? Hmm. I don't know that I recognize that. Interesting. If anyone can recognize what that CB radio is, I'd love to know. Two-way headsets, brake controllers. These are the color portion here, so don't don't get your hopes up. It's not all like that. Lifetime convertible tops, foam filler, charging system analyzer. I had one of those. Now, remote starts was something we dreamed about because we lived in colder climates. Chips for 81 to 89 GMs. I had an 82 six-cylinder, and I used to dream of putting a power chip in that thing. Of course, never got around to that. I think it's $55, which in 1989 would have been a whole lot of money. I love this. Imitation cell phone with antenna, $699. That's a, that's a deal. Equalizers. Remember when equalizers were so cool and so important? Man, I, I, wanted, a, I wanted one of those. That was a 300-watt. Like Radio Shack sold like the 40-watt with the equalizer. Oh, it was so cool. So cool. Of course, we've got to have our, our bras on, right? We got refrigerators. I'm not going to go through every page with y'all. Conversion kits to make your Camaro into an IROC style. CB antenna matcher and bridge so you could use your regular antenna as a CB antenna. Those were kind of neat. Never get stuck on the road again with this emergency kit. I had something very similar to it. It had a siphon, jumper cables, uh, like a sign that says, hey, stop for me, please. An exhaust gas analyzer. I could I could use that right now. Check it out. Lots of bras. Look, but they had like 
you know, it wasn't just accessories, it was parts. So like condensers for your car, AC equipment. Here's a fin straightener. When was the last time anybody even cared about something like that? You know, we had leak detectors, compressors, radio equipment was where I would drool over a lot because I didn't have, my car came with an AM only radio. And while I love AM radio, it was nice to dream about getting like super three-way speakers and in dash video wow two inch black and white tv set built in can you imagine how awesome you'd be to have a tv set in your car man that is so cool mobile vcr for back in the day and even compact disc for 1989 that would have been something else and of course you get down into the basic models there but this one this one i've seen on a on a youtube page a 40 channel CB with AM, FM, and tape deck. And uh, those things are rarer than hen's teeth, let me tell you that. Of course, we got amplifiers, lots of amps, and we have our antennas. Look at that. We want to look like an old limousine back in the day. Got to have the super cool TV antenna. And regular antennas. We got some CBs in here. I mean, these are just so cool, man. Monster truck videotapes trailer hitches stuff for camping and it just goes on and on running boards for your trucks you can see the color discoloration on this is pretty significant but corvette and camaro parts more convertible tops or oh, tack horns i mean they had some cool lighting stuff radar detectors you could put look at that you could have a digital tachometer you could add a clock to your car I mean, those things were cutting edge, you know? And then, of course, gauges. Oh, I don't know why, but somehow your car is cooler when it has more gauges. And I always dreamed of adding a gauge pack to my little rabbit that I had back in the day. I mean, look at this stuff. Oh, a performance computer. They could track all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> adding cruise control. I actually added cruise control to several cars when I worked at the dealership. And when I worked at a private shop, there were people back in the day car didn't come with cruise pay me to install it what a pain <laughs> jc whitney yeah this is what i'm talking about hood ornaments like people think they're cool because they got an infotainment system no sir no ma'am check it out you get a huge horse you get a goose you, i mean you can get you can get the ram yeah but there's some unusual ones the flying angel i mean there's a lot of cool stuff How about the uh, bull horns you want that on the front there are a lot of really neat ones White letter kit. Where was that? I had to do that myself here not too long ago when I put white letter tires on my truck. Louvers. Oh, man. So many things. Paint stuff. Sandblasting stuff. Look at all this. Welding kit. I dreamed and dreamed and dreamed with these books. Never quit dreaming when you had something like this. All these cool air tools. And then, I mean, they had everything. Here's like engine parts build motors that kind of stuff motorcycle stuff here i'm blowing through this here's motorcycle more motorcycle i'm looking for the volkswagens there we go i knew they'd be in here where's my v-dub fiat look at that import stuff fan clutch assemblies exhaust i mean you get headers and here we go for import car and trucks volkswagen 73 through 80 1500 cc gasoline engine dasher and jetter 233 bucks that's all it cost 404 if you want the long block that ain't bad rebuild the transmission on it rebuild the old engine in its entirety spark plugs starters you name it wait till we get to the actual beetles here we got mercedes stuff carburetor kits bearings oh man i'm just in heaven here we go for volkswagen and carmen gear specialty service tools electronic ignition upgrades fast glow plug i did install that on my truck my first truck was diesel distributors engine rebuilds radiators gosh they had it all man they had it all two barrel carbs high performance 88 big bore kits i had that in my first uh, beetle which i turned into a baja had the 1641 kit that was very famous had the Monza big bore exhaust that I ordered out of this catalog. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that I straight up owned. J.C. Whitney got a lot of my money. I'm sad to hear them be that they've gone and left us. Axle shafts, brake kits. 
gosh, look at this list. Body parts. Body parts for the rabbit, too, man. Look at those kits. You could get the, the hood to make it look like it was a Rolls Royce. And then you got the Baja kit. That's actually where I got my Baja kit. Super Beetle kit, but it was for a Baja. So it only looked like it was off-road capable. But you know what? Who actually took a Beetle off-roading, you know? And we got seat covering kits. Of course, some custom radio stuff. Heat blower. I needed that for the original Beetle I had. That thing was so bad. It was defrosting windows was like impossible. Look at that. And and they went all the way back to Ford Model A stuff. 28 to 48 Ford. Incredible, huh? Absolutely incredible. Well, there it is. I wanted to share that. I mean, you could just spend the rest of your life looking through this catalog. And I probably, now that i found it, I will cherish it. It goes into the toolbox. I keep it forever. J.C. Whitney catalog. Who here remembers it? If you remember it, I'd love to hear some comments about your experiences with these folks your experience with that era of living but man for those of you out there who weren't a part of this part of history you missed out this was something you cherished you look forward to it allowed you to dream about working on your car even if you couldn't afford it and you realize that oh if i ever won the lottery boy i'm gonna get this and this and this you'd highlight stuff and cross stuff out it was something else hope you enjoyed it my friends till next time take care